What is up everyone? Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be busting open uh, something kind of odd. So we do all sports for the most part on the channel. This is a four sports card from Classic. I don't do any Classic on here. Um, not for any particular reason. I just, you know, gravitate more towards Tops and uh, Donruss and so, and so on. But there's four uh, sports in this box, 36 packs, 10 cards per pack. And it has uh, uh, over 100,000 autographs in the put it out into these boxes, which that's what the curiosity got me. Uh, got, uh, that's why the curiosity got me. Uh, this is from 1984, so not sure what to expect. We're going to go through all the different sports randomly through packs, I'm assuming. Really, really strange box, uh, but, you know, it did catch my eye. So uh, Grant Hill was a rookie. I believe he's in here, so that's good for us there. Um, you know, we'll look for rookies. We'll look for autos, but if we pull a really amazing auto, that's great. And it's funny because it says look, look for exclusive uh, Shaq Fu tips on new Electronic Arts video games. So... Uh, that was when Electronic Arts was uh, brand new. So in any case, let's uh, go ahead and bust this open. Not sure what to expect. Not going to know every player, especially hockey. Uh, so if I pass someone up, I apologize. But don't worry, in post, if it's got value, I should be able to uh, find it. So you can see this is factory sealed. It's classic all over here. Uh, very strange. I saw it. I just couldn't pass it up. It was just like that uh, genuine article basketball box from 96, uh, 97. If it's a weird box, um, I'm curious. So there we go. It says Sprint all over it. Shaq Fu. Not sure what to expect. So hopefully they're not bricking together. It is 94. So I think we'll be okay. But let's just go ahead and pull all these out of here. All right. Four Sports Classic. 100, 000, over 100,000 autographs. Uh, autographed cards. So uh, that's kind of the draw for me. Uh, I think I paid about... 38 bucks for this box or something like that so I, you know with shipping so i think it was a pretty good deal with the shipping included uh if we pull a really uh great player's autograph then um you know that's awesome but for the most part i'm guessing a lot of these will end up being commons let's see uh how it goes we'll take our time a little might be a little longer burn so it says four sport in the corner all right chad uh penny gold so I'm not sure what the gold means. So we'll do our research after this. And uh, if we pass anyone up, we'll make sure that uh, for the most part, we'll we'll take a look if they have any value. But there's uh, Brian Grant. So there's basketball. Basketball. Eddie Jones. That's cool. It looks like from Temple. I collect a lot of Eddie Jones. So that's kind of an interesting card. Don, uh, Donnell Bennett. Football. And Vaughn Parker. So that was all uh, basketball and uh, football in that pack. But uh, I'll probably speed it up. And if I see any big names I recognize, call it out. Since I'm definitely not going to know every single player from every single sport from all these years. And then uh, if we see an auto, we'll stop. So we'll step up our game. Some interesting stuff here. Uh, we'll step up our game just for the sake of speed. So it's a couple of us. Uh, there's Bryant Young. What the heck is this? So there's Jason Kidd, Sprint, one whole dollar. Did Sprint give me a dollar to use at a payphone? What a hit, guys. Holy smokes, that's going in the topper here. So there's Jason Kidd, phone card. <laughs> so random. Uh, what a random box. Um, so Jeff Nelson. Uh, I'm excited. I got a pretty cool uh, box for... Uh, for hockey coming in and then uh, i'm gonna take it from there after my first break but uh, i do have a bunch of hockey cards from when i was younger uh but it, they were mostly like you know team kings cards so um you know we'll we'll dip our toe over there literally more comfortable with pokemon which isn't saying much than i am with uh, hockey uh but early 90s hockey even 94 i think like uh luke robitaille like i know some of the kings players and stuff and some of the the big names so might be able to call someone out, but uh, this is a nice... I thought this might be a nice foray, uh, for, foray into uh, hockey as well. Because I'm like, well, it's not a full commitment to hockey. <laughs> so, uh, But really, really odd, right? Um, you can get out of here. I was just kidding about that. Um, so let's go. Here's our first baseball card. Uh, Brian uh, Buchanan.
Man, what a weird box. Um, so I like this. It's kind of cu the curiosity got me, but no more Garcia Para. It's a good one, I think. It'd be interesting if any of these are uh, uh, have value. I didn't even look up for uh, sports classic um, online to see if there was any value. Really, I just kind of kind of bought it and thought you know it'd be kind of funny to open and it is fun. It's different. So could get a whole bunch of nobodies, uh, could get a whole bunch of uh, junk junk cards, or if we get one awesome auto, uh, that, I mean, I'll be blown away. So let's find out. I never, under, like, uh, I knew what they are trying to do here. Like, I like all different sports, but there's an interesting one. Secret guy in the jungle. Oh, this is the brand new company, Electronic Arts. They had these inserts it said on the box from their new uh video game so this is way back when like one video game would come out every couple of years <laughs> so uh these actually might have some value i don't know probably not but it's super random uh that is brutal pixelation man look i mean don't you want to play this don't you want to play Rand secret guy in the jungle um okay so there is mike dunham gold mike uh greenlay oh, there's some hockey cards here david cooper so this is our first hockey break nice so we've uh, accomplished something here today regardless and it says wooden award contender darnell marshall so i know darnell marshall but I don't remember that award. Is that just like a classic, classic um, thing? I don't know. So got plenty of packs. So get comfortable. It's gonna be weird. We're basically just looking for autos. They are not uh, peeling off onto one another, which is great. Michael Smith, but they are uh, not just falling apart. So that always slows us down just a bit. But Jeff Burris, we'll. Uh, there's a strong white. We'll see uh, how quickly we can get through these. So, it's Lonnie Johnson. And then Antonio Lang to round that out. So, I'm curious. I mean, we got to pull an auto out of here, right? It's just such a weird box. So, uh, we did that in uh, Genuine Articles 19. Uh, the company started in 96, folded in 97. Uh, um, basketball box and it had autos as well possibilities ray allen allen iverson only had 27 players in the set had some licensing closed after a year and that one tried to do a uh, dual sports preview uh so you'd be opening basketball cards specifically and then they would have random football cards so that was kind of odd but i guess we're taking stepping it up a notch come on give me an autograph Give me an autograph. 100,000 autographs. I mean, there was, oh, on the box, I didn't, uh, must have not uh, focused on it. I apologize, but it does have the serial number. So there were 290,000 of these boxes made. Um, yep, right there. 290,000, 300,000. Let's call it, this is let's call it what it is. 300,000 of these boxes made. This is 154,000. So, um, you know, I guess it's one third of the boxes almost have uh, autographs if they put one in each, uh, spread them out. So I guess our, I mean, I guess the odds are kind of good for that many print. Uh, that was probably a low for, uh, this is probably specialty for this era. It's Matt Smith. Brian Grant. Kevin Lee. Kevin West. Man, is this just because they couldn't get... There's Grant Hill. Okay, it's probably the best one I've seen that I recognize. Might have done a football one. It's weird. It has like a secondary hue on it. But uh, there's Grant Hill. There's Duke Uni. Uh, 94 was his rookie year. Classic. And it says uh, he's a contender card. So I guess that's a good one as far as I can recognize. I'm sure I've passed up some Hall of Fame uh, football players and things like that. Uh, I know football pretty well. A lot of newer football. 
Uh, we are going to start digging into junk wax football on this channel. So chase down some Jerry Rice uh, uh, rookie cards and things. But the thing is with that is football is tough uh, monetarily as far as an investment is tough because, you know, mostly the high scores and the uh, people who are just like huge names that have gotten to media and stuff like their cards hold value. So the, the want for me to learn like uh, older defensive linemen that aren't just told to me as like uh, superstars, uh, it's tough. It's a tall, it's tall order. There's a lot of people coming for a year. So, <clears throat> so junk wax football wise or football in general, uh, I know a lot of these players are great, but a lot of them I just, uh, there's Jason Kidd. Nice. So there's also a rookie, uh, 94 was his rookie year as well. So that's, those are pretty cool. But, um, so yeah, so <clears throat> if we don't learn, excuse me, uh, like Jerry Rice, Dan Marino, things like that, those are the cards I'm looking for. Those are the cards I'm going after. Um, personal favorites are the superstars at that era because I was pretty young. And um, as far as any sort of like long-term card value, I think those are the only ones that have it. I'm sure there's, you know, a special relic autograph of somebody I'm sure has that. But uh, for me, it's uh, it's tougher. So, we'll, uh, but we'll do our best. We're going to dig into some football. And here's our uh, Shaq Fu Raja. So I have no idea what these are, but I'll set them aside. You'd be surprised what cards have value. <laughs> like, if there was a, if that card was the only one of that in this, and like all the other ones look like this, and in a hundred thousand boxes, uh, then it has value. So uh, rarity breeds value as well. So that's uh, interesting. But yeah, so we'll do football. We're gonna do a lot of football. We're doing Tom Brady uh, rookie card chase soon which i'm excited about um a lot of kobe ryan rookie chasing a lot of uh, jordan insert chasing a lot of rookie baseball playing uh baseball players uh chasing we got uh, jeter box for jeter coming in so we're uh, doing some cool rips i think i i think i mean fun for me which i you know if it's not fun for people involved and you know it's gonna fizzle out so got to got a it's a marriage of uh you know, doing cool stuff that people want to see and then stuff you want to do. Uh, I think this I mean, was good. I can't remember. A lot of Polish people in this, uh, in hockey. Careful. Man, a lot of Clif Clifford Roser. It'd be interesting if there was Jordan in here. I don't even know. I, have to, I should have looked at the set list just to kind of get a gauge, but it was so strange. I was like, oh... Just go with it. Just go. All right. Well, we got Jason Kidd and Grant Hill. <clears throat> know those. Saw some players that I recognize, but not like uh, like uh, anyone that I would not consider a common so far. Like Tony Dumars. Common. Common. We've got two of this guy already. Come on, autograph. Matt Smith again. Victor Rodriguez, that's a good one. Um, <clears throat> we've gotten a lot of doubles so far, which is alarming, which tells me that maybe there uh, isn't a, a lot of cards in this set. I thought it said it was like 300 or something. Keep moving along, moving along, and see if we can't pull a Wayne Gretzky autograph out of here or something. <laughs> a little stuck together. Andy Jones again. So I'm not liking the how many doubles we're getting so far already because, I mean, maybe it's just those are the ones I'm recognizing, but it tells me that there wasn't uh, a lot of people involved, which is maybe why they combined all these sports into one box and then they had to do this like crazy like oh well there's you know we have a uh, 20 people from each sport but so we'll just have them autograph a bunch of stuff and put them in the same box um <laughs> i don't know well i did some video game stuff why not you know let's just uh let's throw anything in there gum puzzles whatever we don't we don't have enough cards uh, i don't know so we'll have to see A 
you see any cards that uh, have value that, especially you hockey people, I'm sure no hockey people are watching this channel right now, but um, if you are, you're a hockey person at all, shout out some of the uh, names I'm passing up that uh, are good. Help me uh, sh uh, shorten my search time of uh, these cards later. All right. Three stacks total down to our last uh, two packs of the first stack. And honestly, not feeling it, you know. All right, here's our checklist. All the different sports. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. But I'll hang on to that checklist. That'll be helpful later. Oh, another one of these. Uh, Join Classic Collectors Club. No, thank you. I don't know what it was. Like, a, you know, we would get classic cards and uh, you always felt like... Uh, you always felt like you were getting, uh, like you were broke. <laughs> Your pants were broke. So we got Jason Kidd and um, Grant Hill, which are probably the best cards in this box for basketball as far as the wooden contenders one. So we've uh, we've already surpassed our, uh, we've hit like all the main cards. So now we just need an autograph. So if I pull a Grant Hill or a Jason Kidd auto out of here, then I'm going to be blown away, ecstatic. I'll be like, wow, this was totally worth it. If that's it, then uh, lesson learned. Don't buy this box, which I kind of knew. You know, it's just more of a curiosity at this point. There's our Jason K number two. So we're going to speed up for sure. Look for that autograph. Is Classic still open? I don't, rem I don't see them anymore. I'm not sure. Did they get bought up by somebody? Like those checklists will be good because then I can just Google sit there with instead of going through the cards, I can go through the checklist. Another one, nice. I'm actually excited for the checklist, isn't that sad? Same one. I can go through the checklist and uh, just kind of Google search some of the names and then uh, see if any of them have uh, in the Hall of Fame. See if uh, anybody uh, has value on their cards. But classic, I don't know, man. I don't know about this box. Probably could have bought something way cooler. But the 100,000 uh, autographs got me. I mean, it's smart. So if we pull an autograph, I guess that's uh, kind of the goal. Hopefully we pull uh, an autograph. Some random person we don't care about. But... You know, then we'll uh, maybe we can reach out to that person and be like, hey, we have your random autograph from that one time you signed that one card. Would you like to buy it for five dollars? And then we can buy ourselves a nice cold beverage and, uh, you know, cry in the corner about this purchase a little bit. And there is uh, Ben Greevy. I remember him. Checklists. Yeah, I know. Uh, big name. Biggest names are uh, Jason Kidd, Juwan Howard. So um, we've got him. We've got, we got the, we, we did it. We got the hits. Uh, it's fantastic. Man, can't believe it. Hopefully we can get some more of these uh, Shaq Fu cards or something. I, I don't know. But uh, this was kind of a nice little, I'm kind of sad because I wish there were some bigger names in hockey. And I'm sure that some of these are recognizable. Maybe there is a couple huge names that I'm just not aware of right now. But um, uh, it is kind of my first like hockey card break. So... I'm going to take solace in that and say, hey, we have broke hockey on this channel for sure. And there we go. I've got to not be so forceful with these cards. All right. Jason Kidd autograph, Grant Hill autograph. If they give me a Shaq Fu autograph, I'm going to be real, real upset. <laughs> 100,000 auto uh, 100, autographs from the people who made that game from EA Sports. Um, this is an interesting classic picks card. Trey Moore out of 18 out of 25. So limited edition. There's only 25,000 of this card in existence. So is that something? I don't know how to feel. Not good. <laughs> it's like, cool, I guess. Um, all right. Keep rolling. But I'll take inserts, I guess. Uh, you know, if you want to give me some cool-looking cards of uh, better players. Don't know. 
And there's uh, Carlos Rogers. I, um... Man, what's the biggest football names in there? I can't... I should really check this. Maybe after this pack, I'll do a little video magic and time will pass. I know I will have read... I will have read some of these uh, players. La, there's Jalen Rose. Maybe that's actually something, I guess. Um, lot of checklists. Joe Johnson. This box better give me an autograph. <laughs> oh, man. This is why I don't buy classic. Um, all right. See, we're getting the same, the same cards over and over and over. Which tells me, so like that was the same thing with that other uh, basketball box, that genuine articles. Like they only had 27 cards in the set. And so they had like some licensing, but like not all, or it was supposed to be exclusive. I don't know what their deal was. They ran out of money halfway through printing, but, or I guess in the first 10 minutes of printing, but, um, you know, that few cards in a set, it's like, then they try to sell it to you in this rando box where they're like, here's a whole bunch of uh, cards, but really you're going to get the same 12 cards, uh, 12 cards from each set over and over and over. So Jalen Rose again, I guess that's something. You can get this Jason Kidd with an auto. You get Nomar Garcia Parra auto. I guess some of the later four sport uh, boxes like had Shaq, uh, Shaquille O'Neal autos and stuff in them. Uh, there's Marshall Falk rookie card possible with an auto uh, from what I can tell. And I guess this is supposed to be Sha Shaquille O'Neal because I get the Shaq part. But uh, I don't understand why Shaquille O'Neal would not be in this set then. Maybe it's 93 or I don't know what the deal with that is. So. Uh, I guess we can look for hope for Nomar insert Nomar uh, Garcia Para autograph or a Jason Kidd auto. It should be huge. I would I love that auto. Marshall Falk in general is considered his rookie card. What I can see with my quick quick research. So let's go. Let's uh let's pull one of these autographs. Let's pull one of these uh special cards and it, it, i was right these these random like gold foiled uh gaming cards are selling for like five or ten bucks which is weird uh probably because just so oddball like to find so um all right let's go to those autographs let's get a jason kid auto i know it exists now i want it All right, we're down to our last stack. Classic, 1994 Classic, four sports box. Breaking some hockey, football, basketball, and baseball at the same time, and video games because, you know, we like to flex like that on this channel. You know, breaking multiple sports at once. Let's do it. So, careful there. All right, some hockey cards on this channel. Come on. It's so random. You got to give me an autograph, man. I need it. I need it. Marshall Falk. Okay, well, we got a Marshall Falk, uh, which is considered his rookie card. So that's cool. This I saw this sell online uh, raw for about three bucks. But this is a good hit for us. So nice football hit. We got a baseball, basketball hit. Um, don't know enough hockey to get a hit. So I guess this gold card is going to be our hit. So there's our hockey card. Has no meaning other than we need someone to represent up there. So 
So, Nomar. I guess there's like some Nomar insert in here, like a parallel that had like electricity behind it. That was possible, that uh, seems to be valuable. So I guess there are a couple cards in here that could end paying for the box. Jason Kidd, rookie, would probably be my first choice. I mean, Marshall Falk rookie would be d super cool too. Um, but right now, an auto in general would uh, suffice. I know that player, Antonio Lenningham. Just a good player. So I guess we pulled a Nomar. That's good. Just clip a Roser. Strange box. But now I'm intrigued. And then now, now the, the other years, I saw that I had some crazier hits in them. So now I actually might buy more. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's Jalen Rose again. Greg Hill. All right, we're getting down through it. Getting closer and closer. Classic four sport. All right. Be someone good. Doug uh, Million. Doug Million. Cool name. 20 of 45, so here's another one of these cards. They do feel different. Um, I don't remember these players, so the value's kind of not there, but still set them aside for now. Glenn Robinson. That's one of the hits, apparently. Another Jason Kidd. We need the auto on this, buddy. Come on. Come on. Bought up a Grant Hill. That's cool. Cool back to back. Boom. Juwan Howard, man, that was a good little pack there for basketball. That was a good little pack for basketball. You know, I put Nomar and a couple other players over there, so I'm sorry, Glenn. I know you're featured, but you got to go over there, too. Very strange break, but interesting. Still interesting. It's weird they did this like it's not like they wanted to do like fake cuts on the card so they did like print it's very like distracting i don't know these look weird all right i mean it looked like they were on card autos back back when so There's Glenn Robinson again. Brent Gretzky. So, you know, knock off Gretzky in case you wanted one. Unless these are just like people who got pulled out of uh, just getting into their professional sports. I guess that that it might that probably is the thing, right? <clears throat> Cause these are that's this was their rookie year. This was his rookie year. Uh was ninety four Garcia Parra's rookie year? Sounds right. So that would make more sense that they just do it off of like rook because it's easier to uh uh I guess exploit younger players, unfortunately. So like, you know, they're just like, you know, right before they got into the leagues, they were using their images. Makes a lot more sense, but didn't say uh, rookie exclusives or anything like that. So, but I do know that those three, the, the three up there, those are their, those are their rookie cards. Come on. There's Grant Hill. There's a different one. Oh, no, it's the same one. <clears throat> off the back there football 
Nope, another hockey. <laughs> Never know what you're gonna get. But now I just feel left out. Hundred thousand, uh, hundred thousand uh, autographs put out there. And there's a uh, Darnell Marshall. Okay, so this was the card we were looking for of Nomar. So uh, Trent Dilfer, actually, do remember this guy? Um, so this is our. This is a uh, not a great card, but it is special numbered, and uh, you can see the electricity like a refractor. So this card of Nomar from during my quick research did actually sell for uh, a nice, uh, a pretty penny. So I guess I'm happy to get one of these. Uh, I do know who Trent Dilfer is, so that's something. Uh, he did go to the pros for a while, so um, would have loved that to be like Grant Hill or, uh, of course, Nomar again. But um, as at this point, I was begging for anything. So there's Juwan Howard. So I guess that's something. We'll see if it has any value. Paul Konerko, so that's our first, uh, could have put a good baseball player up there. Paul Konerko card. All right, last pack of 1984 Classic do, uh, Four Sports. Wonder why it didn't work out. <laughs> All right, we need auto out of here. Take uh, Nomar with that little electricity behind him or any of these other uh, good players with that behind him. So let's do it. Lots of hockey in this one. Almost all hockey. 100% hockey pack. So that was a hot pack for hockey. Sweet. All right. Well, that was our break of a classic four sport. Uh, very odd. Um, intrigue still. Um, but I guess, you know, something is that we did get four uh jason kidd uh i guess rookie cards 1994 was his rookie year uh two or three grant hills two of these i guess they're uh short printed those uh, sh uh shack foo cards and uh ea cards and then we got this trent dilfer special insert and a marshall falk <laughs> what a weird collection a marshall falk rookie as well so uh thanks for joining me take care see you on the next break Bye bye